to my pub, Sadaki. Hello everyone, how are we all? <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. I'm just getting over a cold. Um, and I, my throat keeps getting all <coughs> annoying. So pardon me, I'll just try not to cough too much. I've got a nice drink with me so I can have a slurp of that every now and then. Uh, anyway, this week I'm back with... Um, some ideas for cards. Oh, I've got to get that out first. Uh, from the Frames and Flowers 12 by 12 Speciality Papers. Now, I've showed those in a previous video and I've now got them in bits everywhere, so I can't really show it you all together because um, I've cut up some of the bits of paper and I've taken all the frames out of the, um, out of the sheet and I've taken all the um, elements like the little leaves and whatnot like this um, out of their sheets as well so I've got little bits and pieces everywhere now with the the sheets that's got the frames on which are oh I see if I thought about this I'd have got these out earlier I've got we have these frames which I can take that central bit out of that one I've already taken the central bit out of that one and then you've got the backgrounds as well so you've got three frames like that one of which you'll see over here when I use that one um, but when you take all of these out of the 12 by 12 sheet you are left with lots of very thin bits of card from all the way around the edge and then obviously down in between each section so uh, I thought I would use those up so I'm going to do my first card let me put these bits away so I started the first card now can you see or should I need I'll put you down a bit more there we go so I've started this first card I've got these other bits that I've cut out oh, not cut out I've cut to length if I can pick them up but I've already stuck some of them on here so it gives you a nice sort of pattern I cut them just under the width of the um, of the card and basically all I've done is stuck double-sided tape down peeled off the backing and then stuck the bits down on top so that's what I shall do now so I shall take these bits off let me jar over and oh sometimes with this red tape you get this very very thin sliver probably can't even see that no you can't but i can and it just it's annoying sometimes but it doesn't happen very often and there we go right so this is the tricky bit actually is putting these bits on now this one is a little bit wider because this is a bit that goes between two of the frames or the backing papers so it, it's double the width which is is quite handy so I'm using my little um, tweezers that hold it for you with normal tweezers you have to hold them closed and they're likely to spring open at the slightest thing. These hold everything closed and you have to push that bit together to make that open. So it takes a bit of getting used to when you've been used to these for <coughs> two odd years. Um, but yeah, these are great. So I'm just going to lay these down. I want to make sure I cover obviously all of the tape because I don't want any tape sticking out that's going to um, stick to other things so just lining it all up oh it's not quite straight that bit but I don't think anybody will notice and oh No. 
no have I completely ruined that now yeah I have okay yeah that one didn't line up quite so well either right let's get this last piece in there we go but you wouldn't really know unless you look very very closely you could just see the little gaps but the sticky stuff isn't going to be sticking out enough to actually stick to anything else now I want to use one of the um, little frame elements and I want to put it that way and I want to stamp something in the middle and I haven't quite decided what I'm which stamp I'm going to use so I've got a little pile of stamp sets here but I do want to put these little bits behind so I want to put this behind here and this which is a slightly larger leaf but the same sort of little flowery stem I want to put that so that it's sticking out oops here but not too far so they look like that Oop. So, do I stick those down first, or do I stick those to the back of this? In which case, I need to stamp it first. Well, let's stamp this first anyway, and then I can come back to the ins and outs of how to stick those bits on. Now, I think I would like to use either the Happy Birthday from Punch Party, or the Happy Birthday from Peaceful Moments, but I'm not sure how they fit. I'm going to have to take that off to have a look. So, oh, it keeps sticking to my finger. So that would fit. Oh, where's it gone? it's in the middle of the heart I can't, couldn't see it for the couldn't see it for looking so that fits and that fits but that's quite small I think I'll go for that one right so that's decided on that so I need a small block and I'm going to stamp it in Lost Lagoon, which is one of the coordinating colours that goes with the um, flowers and frames. So I'll just stamp that on there. Yes, that looks lovely. So, now I'm going to try and keep this in frame and try not to get my head in frame as I line this up. There we go lovely jubbly right now I'm going to close that up because if I leave it open because I want to use that for the next one if I leave it open I'm likely to stick my hand in it or drop something in it and everything will be covered because you know what I'm like right stick that back in there and that's that done with now I'm going to raise this up on um, dimensionals but do I stick those to the card or do I stick them to the back of this so that they're also raised up I think I will I think I'll stick them to the card so I think for these, yes, yeah, so I'll just use some um, double sided tape in my runner. So I want to work out where I need to be sticking. OK, so if I do a couple of bits down here. Oops. So if I put that there and that there and then oh, excuse me for the silences honestly 
<coughs> if you listen hard enough, you can hear the cogs going round. Right, so that needs to be around there. Okay, so leafy bit there and flowery bit there. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Now, Ooh. right, I've got a couple of full size ones left and then I need to get my scissors and start cutting around the edge. I think I'll cut these in twos. Mm, I don't know, maybe I'll cut them in ones. That's the great thing about this, nothing gets wasted. Everything gets you ooh, everything gets used. I don't want that one there. I want that there. And I'll stick one in the middle. Okay, oh, before I do that, let's burnish the card, because you know what I'm like, I always forget. Right, so let's take the backing paper off these. So by the time you watch this, we'll have just come back from holiday. So we are gearing up to go on holiday on Saturday to Guernsey. I might have mentioned that in my previous video. Right, just put that down there like that. There we go. So it's a nice little happy birthday card. I'm sure there's something wrong with this lens. I'm sure it should be should be better than that. Anyway. It's fine for now. So <clears throat> that's the first card I wanted to do. So yes, anyway, we're gearing up to going on holiday. And um, my case is already packed. <laughs> We've got a week to go. <laughs> but I think that uh, um, goes back to my childhood days because we never went on holiday when I was a child because we lived by the sea. Um, and we didn't have any money, so we couldn't afford to go anywhere anyway. So... The very first time I ever did go away was when I was 15, when I went with the um, youth group to, oh, somewhere in South Devon. Place name escapes me for the time being. Um, and we went camping. Was, no, that wasn't the first time. No, it was a Christian, a Christian retreat somewhere. Chepstow, possibly, or Hill House. Anyway. I was so excited. I saved up my pocket money, which was 10p a week at the time. We are talking <clears throat> mid-70s. Um, so it took me ages to save up £7, which was a huge amount of money back in those days. Um, and yeah, I used to pack my bag every week in readiness, months ahead of time. Months. I'm not kidding. Months. And then I'd have to unpack it because I didn't have enough clothes to wear in the meantime. So I'd have to sort of get them out, wear them, wash them, pack them away again and then get them out again. I don't know why I, I did it like that, but there we go. Anyway, we're going to Guernsey. Looking forward to it. I hope the weather's nice. Can't be any worse than it is here, I don't think. Um, so my second card, I've already stuck the Lost Lagoon back into the card base and I'm going to burnish the card now. Now this is one of the frames where you can push the middle bit out. Now I am going to push the middle bit out but not quite yet. I want to stamp that and I'm hoping that this stamp, the sending you lots of love and hugs from the Heartfelt Hexagon set uh, where are we oh yes oh yes that fits nicely right so i need a slightly larger block for that yeah that one will do if i turn it on its side and what i'm going to do with this i'm going to stamp on this and i'm going to stick this center bit to the base and then i'm going to put this bit up on 
um, dimensionals but again I want to put in some of the little fiddly bits which I shall get down in a minute so let me stamp this first so I forced Kevin to go out with me and get him some new shorts to wear on holiday because honestly it's shorts the ones he's got now he's got two he's got two decent pairs of shorts I say decent he's got two pairs of shorts and the newest pair is probably 12 or 13 years old and the oldest pair I dread to think how old they are and they are falling to pieces so I made him come out with me and buy some new shorts so he's now got some courtesy of Mr Primark right okay so I'm just going to oh you can't quite see that center this up and stamp out there yes and just give that a wipe right so let's put that back So it doesn't get lost. Okay, and put the lid back on this. Okay, that's that one finished with. Now, put the blocks over there. I want to centre this up. Just like that. Then I need to remove this bit and put some tape on it and then holding oh, holding that just fit it back in so that it's in the right place and then remove that bit now I want to find some little filly bits so let me just get my board over here so what sort of fiddly bits would I like to have coming up behind well that's a nice one I could have that there so that when that's there like that yes I like that now I was thinking of having more than one but I think just that one would suffice yeah I think that will suffice so I will stick this down there I do it like that I think okay and then I'm going to put some um, some of these which are from oh don't ask me which one from one of the kits they're long strips which are great because I can put one across there one across there then I will cut one in half roughly actually I might cut two in half for the side And then I shall put uh, four around here as well, just to give it that little extra bit of um, strength. Because there's nothing worse than um, something that's up on dimensional, sort of being all floppy in the middle. Right, 
stick that under there, cut that, and stick that there, and that one there. Right, let's get this done. Yeah, so anyway, we're flying from Manchester Airport to go to Guernsey, which wasn't our original plan. We had booked to go from Liverpool, but our airline um, have got some problems and they've had to cancel all the Liverpool flights and moved everybody to Manchester. Now, Liverpool Airport. It's a lovely airport. It's nice and small. Whereas Manchester, it's horrible. It's huge. Although we're going to Terminal 3, which apparently is also quite small, so hopefully we won't really notice. Right now, I'm trying get not to get my head in frame. Oh, now am I doing this the right way? But no, I've got this upside down. <laughs> That's the handy thing about this shaped thing. You can tell which way around. Mind you, I suppose it doesn't really make that much of a difference. OK, so I am going to go like that. Aha! There we go. So I'm quite pleased with that. I like that very much. Right, and so the third one I'm going to do, I uh, also with this one, I'm not sure which stamp I'm going to use. So once I've stuck everything down, then I will, um, I'll decide. Now, I don't think I'm going to be using any dimensionals on this, so I shall leave it flat for now. Now, with this one, I'm going to, I've got some Pretty Peacock, Soft Sea Foam, and some of the frames and flower, flowers and frames, frames and flowers, whichever way around it is, uh, DSP. And basically, I'm going to stick, oh, now I thought I'd made that wider, I thought I'd, Thought I'd made them wide enough to go the whole way across, but obviously not. Never mind. As long as I put them in the right place, that's fine. Right, so I've designed it so that there's going to be about two centimetres either side of the um, decorative stuff. So I think I'm going to use, I'll use some tear and tape since I've got some. Yeah, I want to put the tape on this side. I know it's tear and tape, but I always I prefer to cut it. Right. So, as I said, by the time you see this, we'll have just come back um, yesterday. <coughs> Sounds weird saying that when it's actually ten, well, two weeks away. Right, let me put this first bit down. the first bit down and I've cut these um, yes yeah, so I did I cut that by 140 and I should have done it by 150 or whatever it is so I've cut that 140 millimeter well let's say 14 centimeters by six and a half this one is six and this one is five and a half centimeters so there's just a little bit showing each time okay we 
we had an interesting time at church on Sunday, Sunday that's just gone, for me, <laughs> but for you, it will have been several weeks ago. Um, we had been given a message that a group of about 40 people were coming from a church somewhere in the country and um, they didn't they didn't say where they just said oh we've got a large group of people who will be coming to church on Sunday so I said we'll make sure the cleaner knows to get some extra chairs out because that would have well yeah did nearly double our um well no yeah nearly doubled we generally get between 50 and 60 people but we had 80 something on Sunday and on the Saturday night just before they were due I got a message from my friend Maggie hello Maggie if you're watching who sent me an email to say I don't know if you know but there's a group of people from the Elim Church in Western Supermare coming up to Landed No <laughs> and they're all coming to visit your church and I went oh that's who it is is it and she mentioned a few names and I thought oh that'll be interesting I wonder if they you know if there'd be anybody else there that I know well there were, there were two people who's who I remembered from 45 years ago um they didn't remember me at all and um it was nice but I spoke to most of the people from the group and um we all knew lots of people we all had lots of people in common um and it was it was fun it was yeah it was really quite fun so um if anybody else is watching from western supermare hello that's where i grew up so i think so yes anyway so i spent loads of time chatting with loads of them and of course while i was talking my accent came back a bit because it does when i talk to people from the west country isn't it so yeah that was the other funny thing because when they would have known me as a 15 year old teenager I, t I had a proper accent like that I talked proper West Country I did then <clears throat> and of course now I speak quite posh now do I want that one and that one no I think I'll stick with this one I'll just stick with that one and I'll literally just glue it on top of there like I said I'm not going to be putting um, dimensionals on this one and then what I want to do stick that there is put my greeting across there now I'm either going to use the happy birthday from sweetly scripted Which, if I'd have paid attention and not stuck that down first, I could have. I can still do that. I can still do that if I lift that up carefully. Or I just do the line from there and do it so that it overlaps a bit. So I could do that one. Or I was thinking of using the happy birthday from the go to greetings. But which one? I think this one will be too big. be all right or the smaller one I'm trying to get it off the backing is the here we go or that one no I think that's a bit too small I think I'll go with this one and do it so that it overlaps so I need a bit of paper to go under there okay bit of paper and a long block that one will do very nicely and this one i'm going to do in pretty peacock let me put that over there as well 
no I don't need to oh I don't need to do all of it anyway do I so if I just do that oh yes that will be lovely so just make sure I've got plenty of ink on it possibly too much but anyway let's put that there oh yes I like that I like that a lot I think I shall have to do some more of those I've got some more birthday cards to make when we come back from holiday which is now <laughs> but at the same time it's then right let's close that up put that there put that over there put this back in the box I love this um, set now let's make sure I put it the right way around yeah I love this set I think it's just so simple and so effective um yes I'm sure I've done a video with them where I, I've literally just put that across the bottom of the card and nothing else at all so a completely white card with just the happy birthday speedy recovery million thanks Congratulations, happy anniversary. I haven't done any save the dates yet, though. Um, it's not something I tend to do, really. But, you know, if somebody wanted me to make one, I could do it. Right, so let's move that out of the way. And then I'll burnish this. And you can see the three cards that I've made. And see, they're all quite simple but quite effective I like that one I think I think that one oh, is that one my favorite I don't know they're all my favorite because I like that one as well I love the colors particularly in this one and then um, this one which is great for using up teeny tiny little narrow bits of, of uh, DSP um, so yeah so some lucky people are going to be getting these because so I should definitely use those for the birthday cards that I need to be making and this one sending lots of love and hugs I mean you could use that for anything that could be for a birthday or it could be for somebody who's not well it could be for all sorts really so yeah that's my take on the frames and flowers is it I keep saying it the wrong way around yep frames and flowers 12 by 12 DSP um so that's me for now and I will see you again very soon. Will Amateur.